Hi everyone and good afternoon from the Dallas, Texas area. Today we're at the Grapevine Mills Mall to check out Meow Wolf. Uh, we've been to the Meow Wolf in Vegas. I've been on the ride in Denver. I've enjoyed them. I'm excited to check out their newest area. I go by the legend. Jumped by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. I like the building. Yeah. We have paid our ticket price. It was $40 to get in. And uh, this is the opening room. It's a kind of a facade of a house. With a garden. Yeah. And let the experience begin. Going in the front door would make sense. So uh, let's go and see what's in the tool shed. And the tool shed takes you to a different world. It's like a garden in them. Yeah. I do like they have like characters in this area, like this goo man over here. Goo man. <laughs> Yes. There's fishes and stuff hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. This guy. We have found a goo waterfall. Just a waterfall. I believe this room, if you walk, you're supposed to get tidy. Or giant, depending on which way. And it's really cool lighting here. Hi! We have found a door. What's behind door number one? Weird space monster. Yes. And the elevator. <laughs> and an elevator. But the space monsters. What you? I'm probably here for. Molly, I think we turn around there's a plant monster, very avatar-like thing on the wall in the corner. Oh yeah. He does look like an avatar. Blue. I'm not sure uh, where this alien's face is. I think it's everywhere. Yeah, there's three eyes. And here you have a whole bunch of hallways. I believe this is a seat. And let's go through this little tunnel. That's it. A neat effect with the mirror yeah. and the reflection. More art. You can also tell the music plays a big role in the experience. It really does. And a creepy face. Lined up perfectly. This chair, I think, has plants growing by it or inside it. I'm not quite sure what we're looking at here. It's light patterns and an eye. You got me on this one. And it, at first, we thought maybe it, like, are a Oh, things did change colors, but I don't think that was because I was ra waving at it. No, definitely not. It's pretty though, very mesmerizing. I have walked by this artwork a couple times and I did not realize this rabbit mask. We have found another door and what's behind? Door number two. Door number two? Like a utility An room? Office? Is there anything in the drawers? Nope. Nothing in, Nothing the, drawers. in the drawers. Lightning is frightening. Ooh. Correction sequence initiated. I hit a button. You. Hmm. Something's happening. Something's happening. Lots of lights. That's a neat thing about Mew Owl Wolf is uh, you're supposed to touch everything because things that you touch cause things to happen. What did you touch? 
hit the charge button. The charge button. And then I hit the discharge button. Ah. You're doing a lot of things. Lots of noises. Lots of lights. I did not notice the clocks are frozen after you press the buttons in it. Does there a lightning strike and freezes yeah, time. A whole bunch of stuff over there you can read too. Yes. About how you're working stop time. I really like this poster right over here. About disoriented, confused. Remember you're working with stop time. I can't get a good video of this artwork, but I really like it. We found our way to a giant, giant room with neon lights, and I believe these are clocks on the wall? I don't know. I'm not Maybe sure. Speakers or birdhouses? I think they are speakers in disguise, because uh, I think probably an event this space. is an event space, yes. You can definitely tell. I would imagine that can get turned into a sound DJ booth. Yeah. But can you imagine having an event here? I'm sure it's very expensive. Yes. We found a room with video games. In this video game, I believe you control like the spikes and the birds by moving your hand up and down by the sensors. At the back of the arcade, there's a vending machine. And he talks to you. That's for members only, but uh, I may take some rides. When you hit a button. Whoa, 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 what's your rank, kid? And then, yeah, only for serious underballers. of course, the vending machine Are you sure you opens up into a different room with plants. And I think we're like in a mine right now. He did say something about the underworlders. He did, and there's like a canary there, I believe. And it opens up to another giant, giant room. Again, it's just really pretty with all the lighting here. Okay, this room got me. It has a hidden capsule motel and it has an access point there and I tried to lift things seeing if I could go to another world or another room but nothing moves it definitely uh, definitely tri tricked me on this one I think we enjoyed this poster of Mr. Nice Guy. It's that time of the year to light your pipes. Don't let your vermin commit felony trespass. Let them know where home is. That is a very weird sign. And now we're in an alleyway. There is artwork everywhere here. This one lights up and changes colors. You're looking at an ATM. Does ATM do anything? I don't know. Oh, yep. Made it do that. You made it do that. I now have to guess a pin number. I have no idea what pin number this could be. I've tried two different numbers. In the room with the ATM, there's a lot of neon lights. Over here, I fully enjoy the lamps on the ceiling over here. What are you doing? I don't know. Playing with goop? Is it like a volcano? Is it a creature? An alien? Goop. In a plant room with plants all over. We have made it upstairs to this mural. And it was changing just a couple seconds ago. It did a, a really awesome effect under the black light. There it goes. 
It lasts longer than a second, I promise, at one point. And there goes the effect. We're trying to figure it out. Is it like men inflatable waving arms guy worshiping pizza? And then you have this ox? Uh, yes, that's it, exactly what it is. Yep, that is. That's what it is. It's official. Upstairs, you get a better look at the lamps I really liked. In here, it looks like melted TV and screens. And I can watch them from this chair. Looks like a more humphy chair. Do you know what they're doing? Not at all. I think I've gone to too many haunted houses lately, as I really thought this tree was about to move. Into the house we go, and I believe this house is part of our world. And then there is regular, regular rooms, and then doors that lead to like secret passages of the other. Now we have to crawl here. See you on the other side. <laughs> See you on the other side. Oh, yep. We are in a room full of bugs. Lots and lots of bugs. And this does something, let's see. Interesting, very interesting. Inside the bedroom, they have records and you can turn the switch and it actually plays records. And there's physically records. Inside that bedroom, you have a closet with brick dresses and shoes, and that leads to a hallway with artwork and a piano. Music. You definitely have a music ear. Piano makes lights do things. Yes. I really like this. It looks like a stained glass, but it's definitely lights behind it. We have found a bridge, and inside the tree you can go. Let's see what's in here. It's me, I'm sitting down. Ha, ah, it's you. Imagine that. Like. I like how there's also windows so you can look down and you have no idea you're being watched or you're down in that room. I like the little thing in the jar to your right. Oh, is that a bat? I don't know. It kind of looks like an axle waddle mixed with a stingray. Yeah. Definitely interesting. There's a lot more artwork I hear, feel like here. And you can spend a lot of time if you admire everything. On the wall, they have clouds. And then they have this artwork that is reflecting that wall of clouds. It's a big room, too. It is a giant room. You gotta know, like, open every door. You, have, you never know what's gonna be behind the next door. Mm -hmm. And you might assume you've been there and you have not. You realized you could sit up here. There's a bench, enough for two. We found our way back to the neon room and there's clocks on the wall with buttons. Oh look, an umbrella with a cat. Is that a cat? Oh, nope, they're going away. Oh. Underpants. <laughs> Underpants. Oh. Okay, and there's that. <laughs> and there's three different clocks. Go to all the nook and crannies, because we found this little balcony, and I did not notice below there was this frog 
on a bicycle. We were talking and we think this one over the Las Vegas one is a lot more Instagrammy because I thought there was gonna be something really cool in there. Yep, just me in a sexy pose. Yep, nope, but just a great place to take a picture. We found some stairs and we believe we know where those are going, but off to the side, there's this nice little sitting area. Inside the house, there are our bedrooms, and also you can also, so. yeah, also open up every drawer, or you found diaries and books in some yeah. of these bedrooms. And I'm sure like reading all this stuff will give you like a clear, like of the story that's going on. That would take weeks probably because yeah. there's so many little notes and i think we found three diaries so far yep. let's see what's behind this door where do we go oh back into the hallway there's also a hallway hey, full of lights look what's in the shoe box what's in the shoe box shoes oh my goodness i didn't expect that and in we go to the bathroom. And there's a monster, an octopus. Uh, not what you wanted to show, that's for sure. <laughs> no, not at all. Not a lot of privacy in here either. Inside the giant room, there's a throne, which looks like a like crypt keeper type statue. And then there's a tree over here. And if you hit the mushrooms, they light up and play music. Quite cute, cool. Again, there's so much detail here. Look at these monsters. Back inside the house, there's a freezer with a monster and then you also have washing machines that are slide and tunnels and that is where you come out from the slide we are inside the house in the kitchen and inside some of the cabinets shenanigans yeah look at these uh they look like cups as creatures and then you do also have regular cabinets or other fun cabinets. I like this one because it's like a lazy Susan and you get to see all the different characters. Look at them bathing in, I don't know, stew? Popcorn and goo, I think. <laughs> also in the kitchen, there is the fridge. And of course, you can walk inside the fridge it's a big fridge it is a giant fridge and let's see where this fridge leads probably somewhere wacky there's a lot of fruits and stuff no not my fridge and now we are inside all the fridge and stuff here one of the doors off the main fridge area it feels like you are in a comic book store. Now there is a plot line of, I believe, a missing child from the house. And there's a phone nice. that gives you updates with the police and them trying to find him. And I believe he might be here. And then I believe that's the arcade section. Yes. I don't know if we've seen all this. I'm not sure if it represents everything. But not sure if uh, this is supposed to be him exploring the other world that we're currently in. In this room, I found a button. I'm not sure what the button is doing. No idea. Update, the button controls the lights in the display cases. 
back to the main fridge area and let's see what's behind this door. It's a random sheep alien? Maybe goat? Yeah, I think it's a goat, not a sheep. Very odd. Oh, and uh, the chandelier comes down and makes a party in here. Also in the kitchen there is a stove. Oh, it does stuff. There's buttons and dials and it lights up. It's kind of a working stove and more cabinets. I think there's one last fridge door that we haven't been through with a bunch of ice cream. Fun ice cream. Fun ice cream. Oh, you're in a, a room full of ice cream with an ice cream cart. What's in the ice cream cart? Well, I don't Is that really an ant? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is supposed to be. They're adorable though. <laughs> the ice cream is adorable. And then there's another door. And it leads to the hallway. As well as another door. Let's see what's behind door. Oh, nope, that door is locked. <laughs> they do <laughs> let you know when the doors are locked and you can't enter which doors but again try everything press all the buttons because things do work and up the stairs and we're back in the tree room looks like watermelon let's see what's behind this fridge it's you it's it looks like giant plants and a trailer. It looks like you're in a desert. And you can go inside. Look at this dinosaur. 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 Uh, my favorite is on the stove. There's some real chill hot dogs. <laughs> yes, there's and so like much detail. Armadillo. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that one. I like how there's cactuses growing and then you have all sorts of like clues too with the story mm -hmm. taped to the wall. And you have a TV and the setting outside. And then you can go outside of the trailer and sit down and listen to the radio. I get again, I believe if you get the right channel, you get some clues. But I really like this room with the trailer and the desert. Inside the garden area, it, there's like... I think where you'd like store bees? Maybe, yeah. It looks like it's an egg of some sort. Back inside the house, and they have this artwork. It looks like a mirror, however, in a second. It's still gonna be a mirror. <laughs> it's still gonna be a mirror. Oh look! Nope, there's a little sculpture inside. And I think it's about the exhibit probably. Uh, definitely. So you saw the camper. Yeah, we saw the camper. And I definitely believe there's the time stop. I like the little slug in the book. Yeah. Of course there is a gift shop with all types of merchandise. And some of the merchandise is items that you can find here at the immersive art. All the creatures, different types of shirts with some of the creatures and cups. Also part of the cafe, you have the cola and that's from the Las Vegas Omega Mart. Yeah. And then you also have some drinks from the vending machine that's here in the arcade room. And that will do it for our tour at Meow Wolf here out of, outside of Dallas. We were there for about two hours. Cost about $40 to go in. I loved it. I thought it was great. Yes. I think to get the entire story and to do all the clues and hints, you could spend hours upon days in there, yeah. seeing all the different details. 
it's definitely more fun when it's less crowded. So if you get it like their first slot in the morning, I would definitely recommend doing that. Mm -hmm. And I think they have learned from other uh, Meow Wolves. Yeah. I mean, no. This is definitely the newest location, and I think it's my favorite that I've been to. Out of the two. Out of the two, because I've like, I did like this one better than Vegas, mm -hmm. but the Vegas one also seemed like it was on a grander scale. Yes. Yes. The rooms were a lot bigger there. But overall, a really fun time, and they do also have a cafe here if you are looking for food.